Imagine if I had a real weapon. Yo, what is up, champs? It is me, Real Weapon AFK, back with a new channel announcement for you all today. If you guys have not joined my Discord, the link is in the description below, as well as a pinned announcement on this particular video. Um, so the link to the invite should be there. Uh, we have general chat going on, we have coaching going on, we have, you know, my video updates, we have Jack's discussion going on, we have all this stuff going on. We also have voice channels that you guys can chat in and chill. Uh, you guys get roles to be a Jacksling or to be a champ. If you're a champ, you're obviously a fan of my channel, so I know you, I recognize you. Uh, if you're a Jacksling, you are somebody who may have watched the channel but you probably aren't particularly a huge fan you might be like more on the okay i, I just want to chill here type of side so um yeah so enjoy the video and i hope you all have a wonderful day peace out hey what is up youtube it is me real weapon afk going over the top lane or mid lane uh jack builds you might want to opt into um first I'm going to go over the early bully um, lane build, which is, you know, a bullying. Like, if you feel like you're in a matchup where you can bully the laner, you know the matchup really well, and you know how to bully the opponent as a Jax player, this is probably what you want to go into. Uh, so, conquer 100% what you're going to go in every matchup, in my opinion. Um, you might want to opt for Electrocute in some matchups, honestly, but I'm probably not going to add that in. Um, personally, I think Precision is really damn good this patch with the Conquer being added. I think Conquer is the way to go for pretty much every matchup as a top lane Jax player. Um, so Conquer, you go Conquer, and then you go Triumph, um, of course everything else sucks in my opinion overheal might have some viability but it's really not that good compared to triumph um let's be honest here uh alacrity if you're bowling you want alacrity um you might want tenacity in certain situations you might want the lifesteal maybe in certain situations um but if you're bowling you want the extra um damage optimization in your build so you want the extra attack speed to be able to get those extra autos in for balling the lane opponent easier. Um, then last, last but not least, I'd say Coupe de Gras because you are bowling your opponent and you're going to find yourself in situations where you're going to get them really low and want the extra damage. So Coupe de Gras, 100% in my opinion. Uh, you can even opt for cop cut down if i was about to say something else um you can even opt for cut down if you want to you know bully the lane opponent that's a tank and you are going to build damage later into the game and they might have another tank on their team you might want to go cut down instead um which gives you extra damage against people that build more health than you so um coupe de gras is usually the best fallback rune though um, honestly, you can even go last stand if you really want to, but as a lane bully, you might want the Coupe de Gras for the extra harass. Um, domination as your secondary in most cases, in my opinion. Uh, Sun and Impact gives you extra early game damage. Um, and then Ravenous Hunter, of course, you can get extra healing if you're, um, you know, using abilities and whatnot. It's like a mini gun blade, pretty much. Um, can also opt into Sorcery, which was Sorcery, I would suggest either you can go Mana Flow, um, can go Celerity, um, honestly this is probably the best build if you're going into Sorcery, um, because having that extra movement speed in the early game is going to let you, uh, stick onto your opponent easier. And Scorch is going to give you extra harass in the early game. So this is probably your best setup, in my honest opinion. If you're trying to bully the lane opponent in the early game. Um, that doesn't really happen much in Jax matchups though. Jax is 
usually fairly weak against most matchups. Um, unless you know what the hell you're doing against, against an opponent, you might want to go this. Um, next, I want to go over the early survive rune page setup. Um, this is probably what I would take. I would probably actually opt out Alacrity for uh, the lifesteal in these cases. Um, conquer, always, in my opinion, just go Conquer. Uh, Triumph, of course, just go Triumph. And then Bloodline, I think, is really good with this build because um, you're going to be wanting to, you know, sustain in lane, and it's going to help you survive. And if you are going certain builds that <clears throat> you aren't building lifesteal in your builds, you might want to take Bloodline anyways, so keep that in mind. Um, Tenacity is really good too in this case. Alacrity is fine as well, but honestly, I would either go uh, Tenacity or Bloodline. I'd probably take Bloodline in most cases. Like If I'm against a Pantheon, I probably want Bloodline. Just go and put that out there. Um, of course, it's going to take a while to stack though, so keep that in mind too. Um, and then I go Resolve. Like, if I'm against, like, a Pantheon, I'm going to be taking Bone Plating with Second Wind. Like, pretty much 100% of the time. Uh, you can even opt out Second Wind for, like, Chrysalis or whatever the heck it's called. Um, to get extra health for the early game. Uh, if you're against a Teemo, you can even do this build if you really want to. But you can actually go into Sorcery and go Nullifying Orb and, like, Celerity or something like that. It's really up to you. Um, but if you're against a Teemo, you might actually not want to go Conquer anyways. I don't know. It's kind of iffy for me. You can go Conquer, but the blind kind of counters that a little bit. Um, honestly, you can just go uh, Bone Plating with Second Win in pretty much every hard lane matchup, though. So this is pretty much your base setup. In an early game matchup where you want to survive the laning phase um and then my last page i'm going to go over is the late game jacks build if you're going top lane and if you're going to be building against Suze, um you might want to consider this for sure um because against Suze is an item now that is going to scale in patch 8.6 it's going to scale with damage so you might want to have a scaling setup with that type of build. Um, so Conqueror, 100% <clears throat> of the time, with this build for sure. Um, thing with this build is you can go so many different types of builds. You can go, you know, Ginsu's with uh, Titanic and Trinity Force. You can go Titanic, um, Blade of the Ruin King with Ginsu's. There's so many different options you have. And then you can go into Tank if you really want to. You can even go Hexet Gunblade with Trinity Force with Ginsu's Rage Blade. That's actually probably going to be pretty good too. Um, you can also go... Damn, there's something I've been testing out that's actually pretty good. Instead of going the Trinity Force, you go Gunblade, Nasher's Tooth into Ginsu's. Um, that's pretty good too. And with this build, you can go Alacrity if you really want to. Um, you can also go Bloodline, Tenacity. It really depends on what's going on. But Alacrity is always a pretty good setup. Um, gives you better early game. Last Stand is really damn good with the Ginsu's builds. Keep that in mind. You're probably going to find yourself in situations where you are below 60% health. And then your max damage gained at 30% health. So keep that in mind. Um, if you are against Duelists... You probably want to go last stand 100% of the time. Um, you can also go to Coupe de Gras as a fallback for pretty much anything. Um, the problem with the late game build is you're probably not going to want to take it into hard lane matchups. Um, so keep that in mind too. Um, you can also go cut down if you are against a tank. Um, so keep that in mind as well. I honestly think this game or this build actually really shines if you want to outscale tanks or if you want to, um, you know, deal with tanks and you want to 
scale into team fights or scale into a split pushing monster that nobody can really deal with this build really shines in those situations um but you kind of got to have the right matchup like if you're against a maokai or something you might want to go this type of build um or you can go the early bully build but if you're against them they're eventually going to have tank items where you're not going to be able to deal with them anymore so you might want to go and consider the late game build in those types of situations um as far as secondary goes i do really 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 highly suggest the sorcery as a secondary um you really can go any other build or any other secondary path with this um i don't really suggest resolve because if you're going resolve why not just go the early survive one or uh early bully one if you do that for some reason but um i don't know early survive is meant with the resolve one um but yeah you pretty much just want to go sorcery with this build because you're going to gain your transcendence um and then you're going to get gathering storm that's going to be coming online too as the game goes on and on you're going to be scaling with more and more damage and then of course transcendence gives you that 10 percent extra cdr so you don't have to build uh an extra cdr item if you really don't want to in your build so it kind of um lets you add different items into your build going the transcendence um you can also go into domination though and you can go sun and impact with ravenous hunter that's still fairly good ravenous hunter though is kind of a uh high risk high reward type of rune so yeah but so so is this and so is this honestly um but if you're going for the late game build you should be confident in your matchup and you know you should know hey this matchup is not hard <laughs> and i want to scale alongside the matchup or something like that or if i want to outscale them or outscale everything then this is pretty much what you want to go um but with the ginsu's build this is probably what i'm going to be using um more than the early bully build because if you're going the early bully build um yeah you can early bully and snowball the game um but also if you think about it, there are some matchups where you can early bully but they probably will just eventually be able to deal with you or like i don't know that they'll be able to you know just sit under tower and it doesn't really matter with the early bully build pretty much so keep that in mind um <clears throat> so these are the top lane mid lane rune setups you should go for sure if you are in those certain matchups um anyways guys i hope you have a wonderful day thank you all for watching leave a like join my discord and watch me on stream i should be making a lot of content with 8.6 coming out live today uh this video should be released before um 8.6 hits so yeah i hope or not before it should be live like right when 8.6 hits this morning um so, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and thank you all for watching. Peace out.